Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWalk.com, and today we're doing the review of the AT&T BlackBerry Q10. Uh, this, of course, is the Q10, which we've seen on Verizon, and is available on, I believe, all carriers right now. But this is the AT&T version. A couple of things that you know, you can see the AT&T logo below. We do have that three-inch touchscreen display, of course, which can wake easily by sliding up there. You've got your full functioning blackberry qwerty keypad which i do love and works very very well in terms of specifications you've got a dual core processor in here with two gigs of ram you've got your micro usb port for charging as well as your micro mini hdmi of the array i've got an eight megapixel camera with led flash uh, you've got eight gigabytes of internal storage sorry 16 which you can expand to 64 gigabytes of course your traditional blackberry buttons you've got your volume rocker here and of course the top of course your um, power button so let's slide this open here think about the blackberry q10 it's uh it's a very solid um, operating system with blackberry 10 smooth functions well you get no hiccups of course you have your blackberry hub in here where you have your emails bbm and all that fun stuff and you can jump in and out of that quite easily now the one uh, thing I'll mention about the Q10 that I, I probably didn't mention in the Verizon version is that I really feel like for some reason this device uh, requires either a trackball or, or a touchpad here just because um, it, 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 I, I, I don't know how to explain it best but when you use the Q10 a lot you find out that you especially as a blackberry user or even someone who's used a blackberry you almost want to revert to having like a home button almost to navigate yourself back to where home is because really there is no centralized home with the q10 you know you have your 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 on-screen buttons for your camera and your call there but you can pretty much scroll through wherever you want to on this on this device now in terms of the keyboard itself it's fully functional it's a five row keyboard it works very well i mean it's one of the best keyboards i've seen in a while and pretty much that's been quite a while but blackberry has stuck to true to his reputation of giving a solid standard quality keyboard that literally even if it's been a while you use a keyboard on the device you will jump back into it and use it quite well there's some differences between this version and the uh verizon version one major one i did notice is when you go into the settings of your q10 and you go into i believe your network and wireless here uh you can tether the devices on your q10 so you can tether uh on the verizon version you can tether wirelessly with this version you only have two options either via usb or bluetooth which i find is quite a bummer because a, a bluetooth tethering is something that you know i thought blackberry at least would ditch by now and also uh, USB tethering is something that I don't think anyone wants to use anymore, carrying a USB cable for that. But it's still not bad. You can still tether your device and do that with your Q10 uh, without any stress um, or, or issues with it. Now, the BlackBerry Store, of course, you do you can go in and download your numerous applications here. There are limits to the amount of applications you can download, but it's, it is possible now to actually sideload Android applications to your Q10, uh, to your Q10 or your BlackBerry 10 device. And that's something that you should definitely um, check out our video on that. Uh, Boardframe will have a video on sideloading Android apps to your BlackBerry 10 device. But you can still go to the BlackBerry Store. You do have the ability to check out videos, music, and so on and download applications at least that are available on the store the thing nice thing about the q10 it, it's compact it's it's light it's a, a solid one-handed device especially with a full a fledged qwerty keyboard which you can use all with one hand you can see my my finger can navigate across all buttons here with ease and that's the best thing about the q10 i think uh the fact that blackberry here has really gone back to what they know and do quite well i think is solid i wish this is probably the first device they came out with but um overall i do like the q10 you can pick it up at blackberry it's a I believe one uh, you pick it up at at&t sorry for about 199 with a two-year contract and it's something that if you're a hardcore blackberry user or or you've missed your blackberry so much i think this is a device for you if you're looking for a qwerty keyboard i think this works out well uh be warned there are not many applications available but you're if you're not really into apps i think this is a solid device in terms of battery life you have fantastic battery life uh will last you a full day and i mean full day 
meaning 24 hours of use before dying and um, you also have a decent camera um, it's, it's it's good not fantastic but it still gives you good photos and you've got a very solid keyboard so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the blackberry q10 from at&t let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube it's all border work with two o's so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment